Hello scholars! Today's manuscript spotlight is on the Aleppo Codex. This is a Hebrew codex that was written around 920 AD and once contained the entire Tanakh, or Old Testament. Until the discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls in 1946, this was the oldest known Hebrew Bible manuscript, giving it impressive historical significance. Additionally, the Aleppo Codex's agreement with the Dead Sea Scrolls serves as yet another reminder of the accuracy of transmission of biblical manuscripts, even when the intermediate manuscripts no longer exist. The Aleppo Codex is written in Hebrew square script with vowel and cantillation marks. The Hebrew language, like most Semitic languages, is an abjad, meaning that each letter, written here in black, stands for a consonant. The vowels attached to those consonants are indicated by nikud, or vowel markers, shown here in red. Finally, cantillation marks, or trop, shown here in blue, indicate how the text is to be chanted. For now, I won't go into more detail on this. The manuscript is still in excellent condition, and is aesthetically beautiful, being printed in three columns with lettering that is both elegant and precise. You'll see that the spacing between words varies, though in general words are tightly packed, meaning that it can be easy to lose your place while reading. As usual, I'll be reading with a highlighter, and I hope you enjoy reading along with me. Unfortunately, the manuscript is missing roughly 40% of its original contents, including nearly all of the Pentateuch, the first five books of the Bible. What remains of the Codex can be found online, which I've linked to in the description. Be warned that there is no indexing of the pages, and the Codex is quite large, even in its incomplete form, so I'll also be providing the page number along with each reading. Joshua 1 is often used as a reference image for this codex, since the book of Joshua is the first fully preserved book of the codex. So I decided to do my first reading from there. I'll be beginning in Joshua 1.1, which begins on page 2, 6, V. The manuscript reads, Vaihi, Achai, Mot, Moshe, Eved, Adonai, Vayomer, Adonai, El, Yehoshua, Bin Nun, Masharet, Moshe, Le Omer. Now I'm going to skip down a bit to verse 9. Halo, Tziviti Khan, Chazak, Ve Ematz, Al, Ta Arots, Ve Al, Techat, Ki, Imekhan, Adonai, Elo Hekhan, Bakho, Asher Telech. And now for the translation. The book opens up with Vaihi, which here is not translated into any English word. It was traditionally translated as something like It Came to Pass, which you're probably very familiar with if you've read the King James Version of the Bible, but I usually think of it as just and so. So we have After the Death of Moses, Vaihi, Achrei, Mot, Moshe, the servant of the Lord, Eved Adonai, the Lord said, Vayomer Adonai, to Joshua, the son of Nun, El Yehoshua bin Nun, Moses' assistant, Mesheret Moshe Leomer. And now, skipping down to verse 9, Have I not commanded you? Hallo, Tziviti Kra. Be strong and courageous, Chazak ve Ematz. Do not be frightened, Al Ta Arots, and do not be dismayed, ve Al Techat. For the Lord your God is with you, Ki Imekha Adonai Elohekha, wherever you go, Bekol Asher Telech. Here, we see God commissioning and encouraging Joshua to be strong and courageous as he leads Israel, because God will be with him. Similar words of commission and encouragement were spoken by Jesus to the apostles after his resurrection in Matthew 28, 18-20. For my final reading from the Aleppo Codex, I'll be reading from Micah 6, 8, which can be found on page 22, 198, r. The text here is more faded than other parts of the Codex, but it is still readable. I believe this passage sums up well the heart of God as revealed through the entire Bible and what he wants from humans. Higid l'kha adam mah tov, u mah adonai doresh 
ממקחה, כי אם עשות משפט ואהבה חסד וחצניע לקחת, אם אלוהיך. He has told you, O oh man, he gid lakha adam, what is good, mah tov, and what does the Lord, umah adonai, require of you, doresh mimakha, but to do justice, ki im asot mishapat, and to love kindness, v'ahavat chesed, and to walk humbly, v'hatsanea lekhet, with your God, im elohecha. I want to make a quick note on this word chesed here. In the translation I'm using, it's translated as kindness, but I think a better translation is steadfast love, or loyal love. It's the word that God uses as part of his name when he reveals himself to Moses at Sinai, as recorded in Exodus 34, 6-7. The Lord, the Lord, a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. Here, chesed is translated as steadfast love, and is shown to be an integral part of God's character, as well as a trait that he wants us to have. I hope you've enjoyed this brief examination of the Aleppo Codex, and have taken these ancient words to heart. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, and I'll see you again on the next Manuscript Spotlight.